you want me to say? You're exactly reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? <laughs> Told story episode 308. 308, the area, co- area code of what, KFC? Um, uh, Des Moines, Iowa. Kind of close. Western Mich- Western Nebraska. Western Nebraska, the I, land of nothing. Yeah. That counts for me. That's a W. Pretty for cool. Me. That's close. That's a, I count that. That's yeah. the same state. Uh, yeah, we're in KFC's studio right now. So if the podcast looks and sounds good, you know who to blame. <laughs> um, our, our audience is going to be shaken to know what I Furious. sound like. <laughs> Wait, that's what Nick looks and sounds like. We have the only podcast that's unlistenable, literally. <laughs> like you can't understand what we say. <laughs> Every time we're like out of the office, it's you just you can't hear us. It sounds like we are like recorded into like a fucking Furby or something. Well, you gotta crack producer. That's why, right? No, you know, Owen's Owen's not the problem. It's, it's usually you solely and us. Yeah. Um, no, thank Are you, you for hip letting- with Fasoli. What? Are you hip with Fasoli? Um, I uh, Fasoli makes me uh, super uncomfortable. Yep, gives me like I literally go like this. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and when and when he does this, that thing. What's that thing? About? I don't know. I just want to know what race he is. <laughs> He's the race of whatever food he most recently ate. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Um, no, but thank you for doing this. You're going to be on the first half of the show for us. Uh, we're bouncing around today. We're in this studio. We're in the podcast, the gray ones, and then we're in the radio room. We're getting bumped by a bunch of other shows. Yeah, uh, I I think getting bumped for uh, Chris Clemmer's movie podcast is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. That's just the state of anus right now. So you now. guys are on the up and no, up. That's the state that's of anus. That's not on him. Who's that on, though? I don't know. It's just whatever. I'm not blaming Clemmer. Well, no, no, no. I'm blaming you guys. There's, yeah, it's us. You but guys should be like, fuck you. Also, there's, a, there's an oversaturation you know you of podcasts, do. not only here, but everywhere. You should throw a wrench at him. Yeah, you, we got, you guys should burst in there while he's recording. I don't even think they've announced that that's a show. Oh, well, okay. Nah, breaking show. news. Yeah. Um, we start our show with a segment called The News with a K. Um, it's a direct ripoff of a, like another programs kind of thing where we read news headlines. We kind of make a joke. This was short notice. Um, it's earlier in the day. It's right before the yak. I don't have any jokes written. Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't do like the news segments. I just did like some KFC roasts. So, Oh, uh, uh, no. I. Do you have any jokes written fights? Can I just use yours? Thanks, man. Fights wrote some? I guess. I don't fucking know. All right. The news. Hence the green screen. Oh, those are yours. Yeah. All right. I just passed them off. All right. So these aren't good, though. Uh, we do this every week, and they don't get better. They get significantly worse every week. So don't laugh. Let's just get through this. This is just a chunk. Just, just a. Do you want to some- go just back and forth? I have actual news oh, headlines, yeah. and then I have a section for KFC to read. And I have a joke for you to read. Okay. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> Yeah. All right. The news. Did you guys hear about this? A traveling Harry Potter wax museum will be hitting the U.S. And it will. They chose to include the figure of controversial author J.K. Rowling. Oh, wow. The first stop will be inside FedEx Field during the commander's bye week. Uh, Fans of the team are ecstatic that the field is finally getting an artificial turf. (laughs) (laughs) J.K. Rowling does not like trans. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. No, but speaking of the commanders, it's finally football season, boys. We, we made it. We made it to football mm-hmm. season. Everybody's favorite time of the year. I have a feeling this is going to be the most exciting year yet in the NFL. September 11th, uh, kickoff. Kickoff the September 11th. That's favorite right. Time. That's right. <laughs> uh, it's, there's a lot of news coming from the league. Buffalo coach Sean McDermott says he wants to limit Josh Allen's rushing to preserve his health, lo- health long term. Uh if it were that easy to stop a bill from a QB sneak, the Cosby show would still be in syndication. <laughs> uh, rapist. 65 times. Yeah. Times. That's right. And, uh, also, and uh, just also walk in the streets. You know? oh, just do it. Just yeah. hang out. He might be at the game. He's chilling. Yeah. He can go to the game if he wants. And I'm sure pe- Brandon Walker would be stoked. Q- QB sneak is what? <laughs> <Yeah>. Cosby. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, Packer. Cuban bar, thing is when bar you put a, bill, we pick them up. When you put a Xanax in someone's drink without their knowledge. <laughs> yeah, I think he knows. You know that? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, also with the NFL, uh, Packers running back AJ Dillon spoke up about uh, being a Jewish person of color. A lot of people don't know AJ Dillon is Jewish. Jewish running back. Uh, Green oh, Bay fans we were shocked to find out. Uh, <laughs> Do you hate Jewish <laughs> Yeah, he <yeah, it> does. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> just tweeted that. Yeah, he tweeted no, that. That, yeah, that was just a tweet. We don't actually. I, just, I don't mean it. It's just the thing that I say. <laughs> Green, Bay pan, <laughs> Green Bay fans were shocked when they found this out, saying he was too good to be cut. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, these are getting... Penises. This one's really bad, but I have a quota to fill. So, Didn't AJ Dillon did, go to Boston College? I don't College? know. Did he go to Boston College? All right. Black Jewish running back Boston guy. That guy. He had to have been hated in Boston. <laughs> My <Yeah>. God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> um, I don't, can we just like, I'm going to say it, but maybe Quiggs, if you can like fast forward to this, maybe put like the two arrows, because I don't want this to be, this is a bad one. The Kremlin has permanently banned actor Sean Penn from entering the country. For a bunch of white Russians, they sure do hate milk. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No, nah, that's, that's what I... <laughs> this one says Wait, joke can you, can you read it again? Because I think you mispronounced something. The Kremlin has Slow permanently down. banned actor Sean Penn from entering the country for a bunch, for a bunch of white Russians. Again, I guess. The they, first time was good, yeah. They sure do hate milk. <laughs> That was like the shortest joke I ever. I thought you didn't say one of the words, yeah. What word? Actor, yeah. I mean, Sean Penn, I don't have to say who uh, he if is. We can, if, we can, if we can edit it, like that would just, I would just say you. actor I right now. You. I think it's a good for you joke. to read okay. douchebag. <laughs> oh, God. A love on the spectrum won the Emmy for out... <laughs> It's disgusting how often my mom begs me to watch this. <laughs> Side note. Like, it is disgusting. Uh, um, you'd love it. Love on the Spectrum won the Emmy for Outstanding Unstructured Reality Program. Ironically, Emmy was the answer spelled out when the producers asked if I knew <laughs> of anyone that should be on the show. <laughs> Emmy. <laughs> you. <laughs> Good one, Kyle. <laughs> you guys, I don't know if you guys have heard about this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Barstool Sports experience haver Ben Mintz found himself in hot water after posting a video of himself blocking an Iowa at an LSU game. This is the first time he's metaphorically been in hot water, but he always finds himself there literally. He keeps getting fooled into a witch's stew. <laughs> he's always tricked into climbing in a witch's cauldron. <laughs> As an ingredient for some sort of potion. <laughs> oh, 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 she invited me in. <laughs> she told me. She told me to take my clothes off. I got in there. I saw a tail of a newt. <laughs> stirring it around. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that is ben so, Mitz yeah. could, would uh, definitely get fooled. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> there's so many jokes based on real things Mince has done, but I like that's that, the yeah, most real. He would, he would, he end, up would in end up in a witch's stew. Her house or, was made of candy. <laughs> or his hand in a jar. His hand, hand in a jar of honey will happen by yes. the end of the year. He'll be yeah. swinging that thing around. <laughs> um. This is a, an inside anus joke. Uh, we always have. Oh, I'm just going to do it anyway. Um, you guys won't like this one, but I have to. Uh, due to a major uptick in violent crimes, Philadelphia is hiring 40 new crime scene investigators. Their plan is eventually to have them as full fledged investigators, but they'll start with crime scene photos and tracing the bodies for chalk outlines. Trace arms and legs. Esto es como Bethany Hamilton. Una surfa. <laughs> Three. She has only three. She has only three. trace legs. So we do a Bethany Hamilton joke every podcast, yeah. and we try to hide them inside. And this one was Snuck that one trace in arms and legs, as in the Spanish for three. Um, yeah. You know what? Why don't you? Why don't you join us, KFC? Sure. Which one am I reading here? You're going to read all these. All of these ones. Yeah. Huh? Sure. Jesus Christ. Okay. A Philly crime scene. I don't. I got another. Philly More like one. John I, fights. I have. I you. I told you not to do it because I have a John fights jokes about Philly in here. You didn't tell me. I just did. You didn't tell me not to. Do, I didn't know you were going to do that. I didn't know you were going to do that. Uh, you can cut that. All right. This one is funny because it's true. 
The leg braces worn by young Forrest Gump are on sale, and the starting bid is three hundred thousand dollars. Wow! Whoever buys them will still not have spent as much money on child support as KFC has. <laughs> <laughs> man! <laughs> oh man! Me, me and Brendan Fraser, bro. Oh my god! Oh, I feel you, brother. <laughs> KFC has <clears throat> KFC may have missed the boat on a sixty-one billion dollar gaming industry, but he was right on time for the sixty-five dollar. Zipperless Moon Man Parka Industry. <laughs> Nailed that one. <laughs> Nailed the timing of that one. <laughs> you know, you know. You chose Jake Paul. You chose the road less traveled. Gambling or <laughs> zipperless parka. <laughs> yeah, it's the, I'm the only one to travel that road. <laughs> there is no one on Robert the road. Robert Frost was like, dude, <laughs> dude <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, there's a, a second fork. <laughs> <laughs> I'm begging for a second fork back. <laughs> Jake Paul has recently said he is strictly a boxer now. No more acting, vlogs, or rap disses. Barstool's KFC, Kevin Clancy should step in and tell him how bad of a career decision it is. Hitching your wagon is just to fights. <laughs> <laughs> Big mistake. Big fucking uh, mistake. Don't hit your wagon to just fights. It <laughs> takes you nowhere, Jake. <laughs> your fights are just a little bit better than mine. <laughs> Uh, a Minnesota parent is outraged after she said her daughter read the word gay aloud in her health class. Aloud. <laughs> Why don't you start from the tippy? <laughs> <sighs> this might take me a little while to get through this. A Minnesota parent is outraged after she said her daughter read the word gay aloud in her health class. Aloud read gay is exactly how I would describe gay. <laughs> She's going <laughs> <laughs> a loud red gay is exactly how I would describe KFC's co-host John Feidelberg. Yeah, same here. Uh, <laughs> is that how do you say that? Keem? I don't know. Uh, Keem Street, Keem, I Keem think. Street? Keem Star. Keem Street. <laughs> Are you just guessing shit? I thought yeah, yeah. The only Keem's other Keem I know is bound to be Keem Star. <laughs> Uh, Philly residents on Keem Street are worried about falling into a forming sinkhole from a waterline break. KFC was confused by this news because he usually hears about a John sucking through a hole, not into one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's all. That's yeah, what's that's in the, all news. the news. That's what's in the news. Kyle, do you have any? <laughs> yes. uh, a loud red gay. <laughs> 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 So out of all of those descriptors, I think red takes the cake. Yeah, yeah. You've been. Have you ever seen when Miss Pat came on our show? Um, she straight up asked him what race he is. Really? And he was like, what do you mean I'm white? She goes, you're not white, you're pink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were particularly pink that day. Yeah, I don't know what. I'm the, I wonder what your Pantone uh, yeah, is. Yeah, that was hilarious. Because yeah. <laughs> <That was, laughs> I, I, I might pluck your Pantone. You'd be a good on like a kitchen wall, dude. Yeah. It's a nice like country kitchen. Am I pink right now? No. Uh, uh, yeah. It's like really go outside this week. There's a hue. No. I have the. Do you want my um, Stryx KB wears tinted makeup. moisturizer? It's makeup. Because I have rosacea and it's like this men's makeup loophole. Yeah. Yeah. yeah always. You've been yeah. preaching makeup. Yeah. Just a little dab on each side and just takes away the redness. He talks about it on the pod all the time. And then some guys that listen to it have bought it. And they DM Kyle. They're like, dude, you're gay. This is just makeup. This shit is, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. So pissed. It's, right. Yeah, it's they, fucking they try. It's yeah, you, tinted If you use a lot and you don't rub it in vigorously, like, yeah, it's going to look like you're made up. And they get so pissed. I might start wearing it. Why don't we wear makeup? Well, we should. Why, don't guys, why do guys walk around just looking like a bag of shit? Dude, I, I walk around looking horrendous all the time. Dude, man. I'm girls, beard, glasses, dude, too, and just, hat. I'd hide as much face yeah, as possible. Yeah. That, I'm, that I'm incognito all were, the time. If you were to like shave your beard, shave your head, and take off your glasses, I don't think I know who you are. I, no, it would be a tough sight. But this is good though because now you can like you could probably murder someone. Easy, and, pff, easy. Mm. I wouldn't feel a thing. <laughs> I would sleep sound. <laughs> you have any? Do you have any jokes for us, Kyle? I know this was last minute. Yeah, I was writing them in a restaurant this okay. morning. Yes. What restaurant? The Herald. Hmm. I have my omelet if you want. Nope. Okay. Not at all. KFC Radio is just two... <laughs> KFC Radio is just two retarded dudes... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> That's it. It's over. 
KFC Radio is just two mentally disabled dudes who pretend to fit in with cool high school kids. <laughs> At least radio is actually black and got playing time. <laughs> <laughs> did he get play? Did he play? Um, I don't you, I, think you're I don't think he did. Yeah, he got, <laughs> yeah. He got more playing time than you. <laughs> <laughs> you, I think you are the blackest guy at Barstool, though. Oh God, I genuinely do. Um, Including Josh Brand. Oh yeah, <laughs> great. Coley's out. Above, Coley's out. Coley's out yeah. now. Coley had the crown, yeah. and then I have since taken on that, mm -hmm. that title. Yeah, I, I genuinely do think that. I'm and somehow simultaneously the whitest and the blackest. Yeah, the yeah. Paradox. You're an enigma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can say it, but you're mad at yourself for doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Hamilton is the blackest person on KFC. <laughs> Wait, did I just ruin one of yours? <laughs> no, I helped it because you treat him like a slave. <laughs> Nick Hamilton? Really, KFC? With the size of your mouth, I'm surprised you couldn't do more than give Hamilton a little cut. <laughs> Unlike the tiger shark who managed to amputate Hamilton. <laughs> Bethany. Bethany Hamilton. <laughs> KFC is a gigantic pussy. <laughs> At least I started mine with news headlines. You're just going... <laughs> Every one of yours has started with KFC. Uh... KFC is a gigantic pussy for someone who constantly tries to put himself in danger every time she answers one of his stupid hypothetical questions about sucking dick. <laughs> he also is a gigantic pussy for someone who, managed to get, who manages to get in fights in the bathroom whenever he's at Hurricane O'Reilly. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, oh, he was just kidding. Um, okay, he's just kidding. KFC Radio should be called The Cleveland Show. Fights looks like Chief Wahoo. Kevin is a guardian, I guess. Uh, <laughs> old white guy trying to talk like he's black. <laughs> Kevin Love isn't promising anymore. Kevin Hart is small and black, but will probably stop working soon. <laughs> Kevin Durant, because he can't do anything else besides shouting at length in a wild, erratic manner. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. Great, dude. I'm happy, happy you guys brought me on. <laughs> great, uh, great. Okay, KFC, that was cool. Studio, man. That was cool. Um, the KFC... <laughs> Clancy's Rainbow Six is LGBTQ plus his penis. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, a six. Six. that's what he said. <laughs> Some people right, say it. it's better than everything else so far. Yeah, my God. <laughs> you gonna, are you offended? No. <laughs> oh, this is just jokes. Oh, uh, that's say Nick Hamilton. Um, Okay, I should probably skip some of these. And the thing is, we didn't know we were having you on until about 20 minutes ago. No, so this such is such a surprise. My God, Kyle. I thought we were roasting KFC. <laughs> I thought we were doing the news. <laughs> we have that too. <laughs> Do you want me to keep going? Me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go. Well, now I'm not. <laughs> you offended Kyle. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyle. Yeah. That's that. <laughs> Do you not have any more? I have some more. <laughs> I don't want them. <laughs> I don't want... You were tough to roast because what could we possibly make fun uh, there's of? There's just nothing there's there. There's nothing you know? there. There's no... The reason Extremely we Extremely low hanging fruit there. The reason we wanted you on our show in your studio, <laughs> one, it would work, it would, you know, and we weren't getting bumped for a movie podcast. <laughs> um, two, we just got the green light to have guests on our show. Oh wow. I know. I know. We just met with Kelly Martin. Oh, like other people. Like real people. Like not, like not people like that, charity. We, that right, have right, to do right, like right. much like charity. Right. Um, and you guys are kind of the gold standard of having guests. Like who was the clip of the comedian that put you guys as like number one of like uh it was Burke Kreischer. Pretty cool. Burke Kreischer, yeah. And uh we probably can't do that with our I think we have like Brian Baumgartner coming on. Uh, you yeah. can probably do that some of that to Brian Baumgartner. You think? We could just call him like fat and stupid or something. Right. Like, yeah. what could you? Yeah. You could be like Brian Baumgartner. Stuff he is already knows. Fat and stupid. Yeah. I'll just reuse my Brandon Walker jokes <laughs> yeah. for him. A lot of those would, would apply yeah. directly yeah. to Brian Baumgartner. No. Yeah. And uh, I also wanted to get you on because you and I have a lot of parallels that um, 
we know we're going to outlive our co-hosts by a large margin. Uh, and like, what's I, your contingency plan? I don't even need you. For this. I usually I write a little bit of the eulogy every night. I just try to take Dude, a couple notes. I have a blog in drafts, yeah. Kyle. Period, and it is <laughs> fucking beautiful. Yeah. I I've been uh <laughs> been saving up. Like I have like a little side account mm -hmm. saving for the the casket. And, he, oh yeah, he's, yeah. He, he he could swing. You think so? What? Yeah. Casket? Yeah. yeah, I think he could swing it. You invented Saturdays are for the boys. He's smoking. <laughs> He's smoking. We're gonna we'll we'll cremate you, what right? The That's the plan. You don't oh, do yeah. Zin? No, I don't do Zin. I don't say that. Like a man. Yeah, like it's a way fucking cooler. real man. It's way cooler. Are you gonna start? <laughs> what? Oh no, are you gonna start? I well I think with our with the seventies throwback and, and uh how cool it looks when you smoke cigarettes, yeah. that we're gonna probably all end up addicted. I know uh Feidelberg and, and Nick Hammy. Nick Hammy does Nick, Nick has a Strong, strong love for cigarettes. To say that they're they're awesome looking. Like I, if mm -hmm. I think if they looked lame, I wouldn't. I do don't them. get them because I like to feel like a, a a high. You don't. You do with cigarettes. I never got that. I never did. I know. I don't you get, feel better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get the post sex one either. That was that weirds me out. Yeah. I also don't get smoking cigarettes in like hundred degree heat. That freaks. That's weird, to dude. Me. I, yeah, I might be too much of perkies, a pussy. Perkies, perkies. I, uh, I think you, you like if I'm if I have a, the sniffles or if it's cold or too hot. I don't think I. I don't have what it takes to get addicted. I I well I, when I I uh, when I do smoke I I don't inhale like a big fat pussy. I just it's an accessory. Yeah, it's one of the oh, coolest cool. accessories. Except I think the coolest accessory is an apple. Walking around, there's like something about it. Just eating it or just holding it? Uh, what, what about one when bite you walk yeah. around with like one of those knife? knives and you slice it? No, I don't think, that's, I don't think and it, you do that thing where you kind of like eat it off the knife. I think you ha almost have to be leaning in a door frame for that. Like, just, like, like yeah, just like, hey, like, hey, what are you guys up? doing yeah. in there? I'm just, just imagine zapping. that. That's just fucking zapping. sick. <laughs> Brad, what about, what about that with a cigarette? Can you do apple and a cigarette? You kind of like have it on one side of your. What do you do? You do bananas, bananas and cigarettes, bananas and cigarettes. That was the Feidelberg thing. Also, yeah, you guys. Are kind of what uh, you know what we want to be with guests and merch that people wear. You you, you look up to us for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, it's you, nice stuff. You have your own studio. It's what we want. Uh, it'll never happen. <laughs> Our show's not good, but <clears throat> yeah. You think you think so, Kyle? Your merch is actually nice. Yeah, but we don't do ourselves any favors. Our podcast is called Anus. <laughs> no, but I think we need just more of like a simplistic design. Yeah, it's a little swaggy. What, 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 what do you think? I don't know. We we just got the worst sweatshirts ever sent into us, and we I had to put my foot down gently. <laughs> what were they? So our podcast used to be Violet Beauregard themed. The chick that turned into a blueberry sure, from sure. for for, for a too about long. About yeah, that was the month. mainstay of our show. Uh -huh. And so we wanted purple sweatshirts that just said Beauregard, but like in like a college like stitched on font yeah and they sent them to us they're like yeah we couldn't do purple so it was just like a gray sweatshirt <laughs> and they couldn't do it big so it was only like three inches so it was a gray sweatshirt that said Beauregard see I think people would buy that though I think your idiot fans would like that well that works for like it's a small subsect of shirt, cult you know? fans yeah we, we're, we're maybe never going to hit a merch bonus but like oh well, no I mean heavens no <laughs> Let's, let's yeah, set, you're right. Let's set attainable <laughs> goals here. I mean, come Dude, on. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, we're not putting out Mincy Land Delight. We're not yeah, putting out Mincy Land Delight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mincy Milf over there. Dude. Man, I love fall. Come on. He's crushing. He's <laughs> crushing the game. Our, the best experience haver in the office. No doubt about that. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, actually, one more thing, because I know you have to go and we have to go onto the yak. Um, we're late for it already. Uh, you, of all people, you do like. You're on camera from the moment you wake up till the moment you go to sleep. Yep. How have you not lost your fucking mind? Oh, yeah. But like, you're you're not to the point I, of I, killing. That you know. <laughs> I mean, I I think um this 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 train track, you know, this this train inevitably ends in murder. Suicide. It's been a decade. Though. So no, you, yeah, yeah, you've been on it for since what 2011. Everything oh, nine, everything oh, you do in your life, you tr transfer into something for the internet. But you yeah. and uh, you think that's healthy? No, no, no. And, uh, and I'm also the least successful person to. I think uh, like you just hit five hundred thousand followers on Instagram. But the, we're I, using you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have multiple channels with like that many i would say most hours spent to like dollars earned or popularity earned i've got to be bottom of the barrel yeah that's know? not true who are you comparing yourself to some of the best in the game but the i mean we're on we're on we're on 
the air for like 10 hours a fucking reg- day. You know but how I mean? do you do that? Like, like, if you guys did but, anus for 10 hours a day. But you're larger than like really any radio personality. Well, yeah, let's again, let's be respectful. Fucking radio's dead, dude. These, these guys stink. Until you go back to it. Yeah, inevitably. That's why, that's why it's in the title. That's why it's also in the title of our very poorly named podcast. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you have you still might win that yeah. i don't know it the fact that your podcast is called anus and it's still a toss-up between our poorly named podcast <laughs> speaks to and just your how name. bad oh, no. uh, it's very your very bad name. very bad uh, fights how do you feel about that you've been on the show for just pretty much just as long you want your name in there? Oh, fuck no. Yeah. All right. You have to run and do another show, but I appreciate you just. Uh, the only way you can make KFC Radio works is you add Fightleberg. KFC Fightleberg yeah. Radio. Radio podcast. Yeah. It's the KFC Fight. Well, then there's the, there's Radio the Kevin Clancy show. No, it's all. That's all. But good. there was. It's, it's on and off. Titular as hell. You're the most yeah. titular guy in the office. So office. titular. The breast so reduction. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Clancy, Carabas, and Casey. Yeah, you missed that? that one. No. Yeah. No. You don't miss serious. No. 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 Yeah. There's no feedback. <laughs> no, there was no nothing. It was, it was, was only to blasting off into the abyss. M- pretty truckers much. on meth. Yeah. Yeah. We we, we met uh, like two or three like swingers and truckers on meth, and that yeah. was what that was. So. No, uh, but no, I appreciate you doing this. I didn't know Kyle was going to do that, so we can cut it if you want. Uh, no. <laughs> all right, we're moving that to another fucking studio. standard roast. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 we're moving to another studio. That'll be the second studio what on studio our tour. What studio is the second one? Uh, the, just the gray room that oh, looks like a other, fucking Benedictine monk's room. But not your room. regular gray room. No, uh, no, it's regular, regular gray room, regular but room. then we have to go to radio room. Radio room, Yeah. 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 All right. Thanks, man. This was uh, mm-hmm. mediocre, guys. Yeah. This oh, yeah. Incredibly mm-hmm. mid. This was this was mid. Thanks for letting us use your shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, can you retweet this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. All right. Thanks again to Kevin. Uh, much appreciated. Much appreciated. We got bumped into this studio now. Uh, and we're going to be in here for about 20 yeah. Right. And we're gonna have to go somewhere else. In radio room for a bit. And That's then I think fine. We'll close out in my apartment. Yeah, for sure. Like, uh, you know, <laughs> two podcast studios is enough for. I think we have like ninety podcasts. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of podcasts go live, and you could probably get their tickets through Game Time. Yeah, we have a live game show. Time, I don't know if you yeah. can get our tickets through Game Time, but mm-hmm. maybe you can try. Uh, you could try, and if you mm-hmm. we're not there, get them for somewhere else the same day. Um, <laughs> game Time's a ticketing app, as everybody knows. We've preached them. We've <laughs> praised them. Um. Well deserved. They'll get you into games for cheap. They'll get you into concerts for cheap. They'll get you into to plays for cheap. You could plays. go see Hamilton for right. like fifty cents. Um, and guys, download the app. Click the top right corner. Sign up, and you'll get twenty dollars off your first pur- first purchase if you use code Untold One Five. That's U N T O L. It's just it's just Untold all caps. Yeah, they simplified. They it for simplified us. it for us so more people can do it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So thank you to them. All right. We got the news out of the way, which is a relief. Uh, what What's going on? What's good? I was hoping we'd have Kevin the whole time because he can talk. Oh, yeah. He can talk nonstop. I feel the need to compliment him now. Is it uh, bad? Is it, <laughs> is it bad podcasting that like every single time like we start recording and I'm just like, so what what do you want to talk about? I know. I don't have any takes. I don't have any opinion. Oh, and you were partying with fucking. You went to Tim Dillon's house. Yes. Yeah, I did. And you, I think you said that, but I forgot. And then you were like, "Yeah, I'm just. I just pulled up to Tim Dillon's, valeted your car. Yeah. Yeah. So he had sent me a like. Was it a Montauk? Uh, one of the one of the Hamptons. He had sent me an invite for it uh, a while back, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna go." Uh, so my girlfriend and I went out there, and then yeah, pulled up valet there. It's at his house. Yeah. In the Hamptons. Yeah. His vacation house or his, his house. His vacation home. Yeah. home yeah. yeah. Is he is he balling like that? Yes. Fuck. Didn't know he's balling. I found like out that. throughout the day. Um, but so there was valet. So then blew past that because then I needed to like regroup. I yeah. didn't know what I was getting myself into. So then went back, valeted the car, and then I spent the first hour kind of just standing there looking at people. Hey, who'd you see? Yeah, what is the scene? Is yeah, it, is it in the uh, backyard? Is it formal? Is it, is it, is it drunken? Uh, so what um, I'm picturing is back lawn, cherub fountain, like in like a three-piece. 
I'm picturing uh, like the uh, wedding cool. crashers house where they where they stay. Yeah, that's like fair. That, like type of yard. Yeah, uh, sandalwood. Are you familiar, brother? No. Um, no. So like a beachy wood house. Maybe that is the scent there? of yeah. my beard balm. Ooh, is that wood? No. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh no! But yeah, oh, just no. like a big, oh. <laughs> big pool, Hamptons house. But it was like fancy, where there's like servers everywhere. But then it was a uh, a barbecue vibe. I would okay. say. Was there like, to, like just pockets, people talking to them, each other, and everyone knew each other. I was the only like non right. I didn't have a Netflix special. I was the only everybody one. else. Oh, that oh, was high roller, big names. Yeah. Were kinda. you out of place? Oh yeah. Yeah. Very. Did you look tire wise? Yeah. Yeah. I wore blue jeans and a uh, ball season two Hawaiian. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that's that's comedian fair. garb. Yeah, though. it's comedian garb. Yeah. I don't know what would fit in, to be honest. Just a black t shirt and jeans. Louis C.K. was there. What? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, would describe that. Were people like standoffish or? No. No. He he, cool. he seemed to be a god amongst men. Yeah. Then. Oh yeah. Right, uh, wrongfully so. Wrong, a, a demon. Uh, a demon. Yeah. All comedians are bad people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of one good one. N- n- if they're a good, if they're a good person, they're probably a bad comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's why I don't want to do it. <laughs> Pure of heart, Trevor Noah. He's a bad comedian. Yeah. He's an awful comedian, but he maybe he made that vulture list of top twenty five. Oh, the uh, up this? and coming the comedians. Vulture top twenty four. It just came out yesterday. If top twenty four yeah, up and yeah, coming comedians, like, we would not have fit in on the list. You and I. No, there was two white men on it. Well, one was Were born a white woman, I believe. Okay. Ah, uh, and the, and other, the one other one. Gay, yeah. Uh, uh, probably, yeah. Yeah. It was tough. Tough break for us. It's a tough scene to break into. I know. I will never. If you would, yeah. If you'd have told me there would be more of us on the XXL freshman list. Yeah. Dude, I, I have a better chance. I have a better Dude, chance. we need to call. Yeah, we're colonizing the XXL freshman <laughs> list now. We got pushed out of comedy, so we got to go. Better. Yeah, I much mean, better actually, chance. Actually, though, Dickie. I know Baby Tron. Uh, Baby Tron's Tron. white? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see him? No. <laughs> it's funny. Is he ambiguous? It's not like funny because of his race, but it... it, it, it it's a, he's a funny looking gentleman. Racial ambiguity. A, racial ambiguity is a black. Yeah. I mean, Pete Davidson has it. He's been crushing um, a lot of board games. If you play with mini figurines, the skin color is always racial, racially ambiguous. Like if you play betrayal at the house on the hill. Oh, baby. No, you yeah, want to choose Peter have. Akimoto. Okay. Baby yeah. Tron's not only ambiguous. He's like a little bit of everything. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'll send a picture. And then androgynous is you can't tell the sex. The correct. Sex, right. That plays too. I mean, does it? I think so. If you want to be in like... Yeah, because like, I would say like Mick Jagger is androgynous. No way. In what world does he look like a woman? I think he kind of does. I think does. he does. Yeah. yeah. Like Maybe old Bowie in, like, sure was. In, uh, oh, Baby Tron is... Steve Native? Nath? Is he a Sue? That'd be fire. There were a ton of Natives He's in He's rocking Alaska. like a 2014 Bieber cut. But yeah, that's what makes me think Hispanic. True. Yeah. Right? I don't know. It's tough, but it's like you can just tell I'm a white man. Yeah. Oh, uh, but the party, bunch of white men. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah. And that was kind of it. I kind of just looked at everybody and talked to the few people I did know. Did Jess? I wanted to go uh-oh. for the story. Am I allowed to say your girlfriend's name? Yeah. Did care. Jess, was she, uh, did she know the people she was like around or was it like? No. So she was just at like a random family barbecue to her. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. So I was just like being weird and like so anxious and, and it, nothing clicked to her. Trying to fuck you. Yeah. I'm trying to fuck Tim. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like those jokes about like Sass fucking him. I just heard those and I was like, I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Probably. Why not? You're kind of the same build as Sass. Mm-hmm. Doesn't, aren't you his type? Tim's. Yeah. He? Yeah. Yeah. No, that works. I mean. If he wants and it'll to be, be good for the pod. It'll be great for the pod. Uh-huh. It'll be really good for the pod. He can but yeah, hire I think we hinted at KFC. I think we've been texting about getting like Brian Baumgartner, the Kevin from the office on the show. But I don't he's know. He's our first option. He's yeah. Our, yeah, that'd be, I mean, that'd be awesome. He, we're <laughs> no, not his first option. Oh, no, yeah, I would love that. Yeah. 
You know we met him, right? Yeah, he was on he the. Was on the uh, yeah, I, all right, I was seeing. Yeah, I wasn't guys, that fucked. But we, that. but we were so far away in the seat. I didn't. We were on the same show, but I never saw him. Oh, like yeah. how we were sitting on the couches. Those couches were like fifteen yards apart. Yeah, we were way far apart. That was a weird time. Those live shows. Yeah. Um, because we couldn't drink. What? We couldn't drink. <laughs> what do you mean? The, the the uh, we were outside of the bar's like liquor license like area, so we couldn't drink. Yeah, you sure did. I sure did. I made up for it with the previous. That was um. Was that the start of your mental breakdown? No, it was like right uh, after mental. After your mental breakdown, the, the podcast has gotten so much better. Yeah, that was um, that was like November, October, even. Yeah, was I, right after my sobriety stretch. Yeah, you're and, wait. When where was sobriety in terms of the mental breakdown? Was it right before? Right after? Um, no, the mental breakdown was, it was a, after sobriety. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you broke sobriety on the mental breakdown episode. Wasn't it a water bird? Yeah. Cause yeah. we, 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 we were sitting here. We were sitting here like a damn good a product episode kratom. Yeah. Yeah. We were sitting here and I had nothing to say and I'm like this, fuck this. And I was about to, <laughs> I was about to just walk out. Have you thought about like er, early on, have you thought about like quit, like not doing a podcast? Maybe it wasn't for us. What? Well, yeah. I did too. A lot. It's not. Yeah. But also, thank you for saying that. Like, I stopped drinking, and also, there's days and weeks I feel like I don't have to say anything. I got nothing to say. Zero. Yeah. <laughs> when you drink, or it, when you do substances, it's just like everything is, seems more interesting coming out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. mm. I've embarrassed myself knowingly when I'm drunk. Like a way, Yeah, but in general, it's like, yeah, this is, this is awesome, what I'm saying. Dude, I was a... Uh, tailgating uh the pit west virginia game oh shit yeah um it was fun at first really fucking hot uh but like the fans the the opposing fans very mean very mean to pit us pit fans yeah oh, pit guys are the biggest dickheads but like there was this group of good looking girls walking past pit fans they were wearing like hot sunglasses you know it was kind of like the ones joe burrow mm -hmm. was wearing she like moved them down a little bit and like looked at me and i was like oh she's probably going to she wants my fucking cum or whatever. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. You know what, you, what a girl looks like, what you think? <laughs> and, um, she, uh, she was like, you smell like incest. And I was like, Whoa. Oh, and, and then she, and I like, was like, well, then I was like, how do you know? And then she's well, right. That, yeah. Yeah. That's a good and, point. And so I'm, mm. um, she, she's probably listening right now. So probably. gotcha. Big bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Big bitch. She's probably going to age poorly. Mm -hmm. Um, as women do atrociously it's unfair oh yeah it's unfair it's unfair look up Wait. richard gear he's like 70 now Poof. yeah he could just be in pretty woman the sequel as if it happened the next day yeah men in hollywood it's fine wine and then uh it's milk on the other side i don't think it's fair no and then once we we haven't even figured out makeup entirely men yeah once we get that down is that what it is though well, you could change your entire face tomorrow and uh I mean, when you put the glasses on, go no hat, shave, different guy. Yeah, it's a, it's a good feeling. It's a powerful feeling. Yeah. Creatine is lightweight wavy. <laughs> just started. You just started creatine? Yeah, dude, it's fire. For Not even like, I was like, this is, uh, I think it outperforms um, antidepressants. Creatine. On treatment for depression. What's it do? What's really? it doing? What? What's it doing to you? It, it just made me feel good. And okay. it works. I was getting at least like two extra reps in that i wouldn't have gotten you putting it into shakes I, I just took the pill oh okay uh, yeah and i've upped my protein and calorie intake pretty significantly i saw, I saw you eating today yeah you're so, doof, i'm which now is weird. eating it which is just, i'm now like oh wait i can because i would go i sometimes i wouldn't eat yeah and you guys would always make fun of me in a kind of a joking manner i was like that now that i think about it, that's terrible yeah so m malnourished yeah, but I don't. You don't want to look like that picture we saw last. That's what week. I'm saying. I was even looking at other pictures where even like before I was fat, it was just like the face. Was just, it, your face was grew out. You look like Arnold. And my my eyes were like crooked. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, it really. Yeah, I was like thinking I wasn't drinking water and I was drinking a lot of alcohol. How much water do you drink now? I, I'm guzzling. I, it, but it's not worth it. I don't. I'm, I don't, I'm shitting I and hate pissing. pissing. I'm <laughs> shitting and pissing so I, fucking mm -hmm. much. And I know people always say that, and like, if, there's only so much shit talk, but it, and piss talk. But I'm doing it so often, so often. And I'm very. I'm actually to the point where I'm very concerned. And with your shits, 
I'm concerned about the quantity of my mixturations Wait. and the quality of my defecations. <laughs> so, okay, the, the quantity of your... Peas. Okay, and the quality yeah, of your... My poops. Okay. Because they're, they're not just big. They're, they're odd. Odd. My number twos would disintegrate a Scantron. <laughs> Cheap. <laughs> <laughs> that's a tougher piece of paper. Yeah. I think there's like a, a coating. And so I it's, won too much. It's but that's been the case. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. Yeah. Feel better Whose though. Bar is that? I won too much, but that's mine. It's not oh, your okay. bar. My bar. You don't have, okay. and that's not I, your bar. I, I, I actually, well, that's one of his, I uh... have so many bars. I could be a rapper. Because a lot of what I say rhymes and it's swaggy and it's. You, the things you say aren't swaggy. <laughs> Kind of. That was pretty swaggy. What's a swaggy? Like, my number twos could disintegrate a Scantron sheet. I'm definitely, uh, I, afra- it, I'm definitely it's, afraid it's, yeah, he's very right. Yeah, that's swaggy. Yeah. <laughs> that's swaggy. Mm-hmm. I didn't even get it at first. I didn't number, oh. like, a, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I had my fantasy draft this weekend, and um, my punishment for the league is if you lose, you have to grow out your pubes for a year, and then you shave them, and you put them into, like, this... uh an autograph box for a baseball. So like a clear cube. Mm-hmm. I talked about it on the rundown, but my buddy Marcus lost two years in a row alive, Marcus. And, uh, dude, look at the box of pubes. Ew. Yeah, dude. dude. And so the loser of this year, like Wait, who's that benefiting or, or, or it's, the, it's, the, the, it's the losing what trophy. The punishment? That's the punishment. Oh, you got to grow you your pubes out it? for a year and then you have to, you have to oh, add your pubes to the box and give it to the next loser. Mm-hmm. And he has to keep it. Yeah. So it's yeah. All like on his nightstand, but it, it's, that's gross. That's a tumbleweed. Yeah, it's it's, a, it's it's a, it's the size of yeah, baseball. They have kind of like, like formed together. It can yeah, yeah, it's well, all of us are white in the league, so it's not you're not really gonna. It's always gonna be like a brown. Yeah, mm-hmm. shades a little bit, but uh, I have some grays on my balls. You have grays on your I, balls. Yeah, like some gray hairs. On your my girl balls. grazed on my balls <laughs> like an antelope <laughs> like a spot in the Sahara. <laughs> hyenas so, uh, kind of don't graze. I don't know. They poach. What else? What else? What, what? Else? Are, we, uh, are we talking about on this? How was your podcast? weekend other than getting yelled at by the fans? Um, you I took the train down, right? Altoona Curve. Yeah, the Altoona Curve was it. I mean, it's I've been on it now probably fifteen times, mm-hmm. but it doesn't make it any less magical. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm getting really good on the train. I just know what exactly what, what I'm doing. I know when the be, cafe car the is train busy. Is so binary. Yeah. You're either on it or you're off. No, yeah. no, I'm be, I'm very good. I know when the cafe car is busy. I know what time to get there. So they're making DiGiorno pizza. And yeah. I just, I, I consider the cafe car. I just, I, I got all the workings. I know. To I sit hate in the that quiet. you use the word good. Like it's a skill. I'm doing well at the train. I'm sorry. Everything's for a it's gold worse star. Somehow. somehow worse. I'm doing well on the train. Uh, you know, I just, I always, I look menacing enough to where nobody sits next to me because I wear a hoodie, just bulk up, put the hood up, um, you know. You do have, your beard's like intimidating from afar and then queued up close. Yeah. yeah. It was really long in Alaska kind. and it was horrible. People, I don't know how dudes. People liked it. People thought it was cute. Yeah. I, I don't know how dudes are grow a huge beard. It's mm. just a fucking nuisance. I just do it to hide more of me. <laughs> What percentage of my face do you see clearly right now? What percentage of my face isn't marred by something? My nose. Yeah, and how's your how's your lip? It's it. wet. It's still wet. And I've been touching it so much, wiping it off. I have a pimple there now. I've been breathing better than ever. Why? What have you done? Um, I just stopped like thinking about it. No shit. It's fake. Yeah, it's all in my head. No, again, no shit. It's not a pulmonary issue. You thought it was a pulmonary issue? Thought it might have been. Yeah. I don't know. Could be. Um, what are you? You hyped yourself up. I'll hype myself. What up. did I hype myself up? Self you up. said you were really good at the train. Yeah, that is yeah. true. All yeah. right, well, hype yourself up. I'm beloved in East Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> what mm-hmm. are you? Wow. So I, I do. Go on for I, as long I just as go you to. Can. I just go to every Planet Fitness I can because I'm a black card member. So I'm. What's I wait? Try. Is that a higher level of Planet Fitness? Being yeah, black card? Uh, yeah. Explain. Yeah. I do you pay do, more? I can do massages. I can do tanning beds. Do you? No, but I can go to any Planet Fitness. Isn't that any Planet Fitness membership? I'm stack, yeah, no, uh, no, no. So I went to the East Harlem one, took the Gen Two City bike. At those like six those, in the morning. Those go quick. If you want to, if you want to enjoy life, like there's only a few things that like I like or that is that are fun. Yeah, and that's one. Okay, I figured that out. Gen Two City bike in the morning, when the streets are empty. 
any time after nine, you're fucked. You're, yeah, I, it's, I it's, would be hit by a car pretty it is quickly. It's so dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then and, you, I, and people there just fuck with me. Like the vibe, like they liked me. Did you stand out? I was, I was the only white, okay, the white yeah. person. Yeah. But like, and I was, but I was, I was trying to get Zen and it's, it's another world up there. They don't know what it is. Zen in East Harlem. I, I popped into every bodega, deli, everything that w- would typically have Zen. And every time I asked, I wasn't just like, no, it was, it was like, what the fuck? It was like, the one guy was like, where, where did you come? Where, where are you coming from with that noise? I <laughs> <laughs> oh, was the lower Manhattan down the street <laughs> I was like, what the next guy was like do you want do you want to buy weed i was like no zin then he just handed me a menu of his weed and i was like, no they don't have zin yeah but um i was thriving there they all liked me and like were they like fucking with you or, like saying something or was it just like you could tell by they were looking at me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and how'd you how'd you perform at planet fitness the best i've ever done creatine i've been eating a lot protein yeah crushing protein things have been going really good for you i i don't know i don't know about the protein because i think you can only only think you can only get like benefit of 25 grams at a time and i thought i could just load them up at once and do like 100 at once and that's terrible for your kidneys i guess probably um i'm going to change the subject because i don't give a fuck um i would love to talk about like yeah this macros yeah all of it um I am not going to name any names. I'm not going to give them too many details. Um, this is a story from a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you had a friend come visit you. They were going to stay for the week. She's not. She's she's a she. Not she's not a non binary It's one girl, one she. Her. You had a she come visit. I didn't know she was coming up. I like her. Uh, you and I are in the bar together. I turn around. She walks in. I'm like, oh my god! I didn't know you were going to be here. Like, gave her a hug. Gave you a hug. I was like, are you here to see friends? And she's like, no, I'm here hey, staying with Kyle. And I'm like, oh, cool, cool, cool. And then I go up to Kyle. I'm like, dude, we're going to Alaska tomorrow. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and the color just drained from your face. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because I could have sworn that's a, that's a Monday deal. <laughs> I don't, I didn't know we were doing weekend work. I did not know uh, the dude, flight. You drained like, uh, like oh a cartoon. Just God. I didn't, and, know the, I didn't know the flight was on Saturday. And I just left the bar. I was like, I don't, I fuck with, I fuck with you. But <laughs> you did leave. I left. I was like, all I right, you, that's, I, I don't want to be here for, yeah. I don't want to be here for this. And I haven't really talked to you. I like, you got to the airport very late and disheveled. And then we were like so busy in Alaska and I didn't want to bring it up. But now yeah. I kind of do. Uh-huh. Yeah, I did not know this. Yeah. yeah, you invited somebody. They flew in as soon flew as they in, landed. Yeah. They landed at like 10 o'clock at night. We were at the bar. Mm-hmm. You, you saw her for four hours. It was a good four. <laughs> it was like a strong four. Yeah. Oh yeah, like a lot of memories uh, made in the four. four. Yeah, um, yeah. I felt I felt bad. Yeah, to tell to say the most. But. How did you break that? <laughs> to say the most. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, we, it, it was still it was it was preliminary enough for her to not. Like she, she flew could, out she to see ex- and she stay. couldn't express anger because yes, was, she could. She didn't. She flew here, yeah, to see you. I know you forgot you were going to Alaska. Oh, yeah, I don't think the city where I was going matters, but yeah, yes, it does. Uh, yeah, that's very. You can't even fucking text her. It's the time difference is so severe. Yeah, and I didn't leave the key. What? (laughs) The other other day, because I was like, I don't want to like, because I'm when I come back, I don't want to have to. It's going to be like late at night or very early. I don't want to have to deal with getting into my apartment. So you can stay free of charge. You're just going to have to not have a key. No shit, dude. You you made her fly to you, and you forgot to tell her her you weren't going to be there. There are multiple options. I said without the key. It's kind of better because now you can either stay as long as you want or leave and stay outside for as long as you want. But not, <laughs> but not you can't do both. Oh my god! No, I felt that I felt you, terrible. Yeah. yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Yeah, um, good girl though. Thanks. No, yes, yeah, she's nice, and you treated her right because uh, you used Manscape while you're in Alaska. <laughs> I, I didn't, and I felt yeah, no. <laughs> It was a no, the, post-mature the, shave. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah, I should have done this earlier. You used it. Uh, your dick was looking like the wildlife of Alaska. Bear. 
Um, they used a lawnmower 4.0 mm. with the skin safe electric trimmer, the weed whacker for your ear and nose. It was the best stuff. And you used it. You're bare frictionless environment down mm. there. All, all there was only Dick. You could not see anything else, but Dick, nothing obscuring that, uh, the shears 2.0, which is the nail kit. It's the best. We all use it. Everybody on the show. So it's, yeah, it's incredible. Mm-hmm. Think of Owen, think of me, think of Kyle. no, no hair around our dicks. Yeah. Think of us while you do it. Think of us while you do mm. it and think of how we do it. The different techniques think uh, of ours, mm-hmm. uh, 20% off free shipping with code anus at manscaped.com. 20% off code anus at manscaped.com. Uh, a little bit similar to that story. I got a DM from your friend, Mac. Oh yeah. He loves you. Yeah. Great he, guy. He, like him a lot. He, 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 you shouldn't. He says a lot of out of pocket things. He does. What is he? That nonsense. Does he say something nonsensical? No, he texts me. He's like, "I'll see you the twenty sixth, yeah. the twenty first through the twenty sixth. Fuck yeah, no. And then I was Max, like, my one of my good friends, probably my, one of my best friends. And I said, "I'll." He said, "I'll see you the twenty first through the twenty sixth. Mm-hmm. And I said, "Oh shit, what's up?" And he was like, "I'll be, I'll be staying with Kyle. I go right to Kyle." Dude, we're going to New Orleans the 21st to the 26th. The exact date. Oh, the exact yeah, no, I felt, date. I felt bad again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mac said he could have, he could get the the flight refunded. Dell couldn't. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, we were going to go to the Chain Smokers. We're going to go to the Yankees game. So you, we had yeah. all these plans. Um Yeah, I don't I don't have um I don't know if that was on me though. I think that that New Orleans trip was up in the air. It could have been yeah. yeah, it could have been earlier or later. Uh-huh. No. Mm-hmm. Um but no, I'm looking forward to that. I'm sorry to Mac and Dell, but uh, no, they're coming in October. I'll have a blast. I said, what I, days I, I in told October? Him, I told him, listen, boys, I got, I got the slightest bit of bad news, and the, and, but, but, and I have the ba- but I ha- also have the greatest news ever. Bad news is that the the flight that you paid for to come see me isn't happy. You can't do it at all. I know. Um, the great, the great news is because I you always say the bad news first. Sure, yeah. They're, they, of course, they like sighed a little bit. Um, the great news is that October in New York is the best month to be here. That's so right. You can come. You can come then. You can so come yeah, a few weeks so later. The good, the good news is you lost money, but you get to wait longer to mm. come hang out. Yeah. But it, October is the best month. What days are they coming now? We have to decide. On, I don't know. <laughs> and October <laughs> might be because there's less hours in the day to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because we have. Uh, we're going from the Philly dozen. We have to take a train up to Boston. For the live show, mm. we have some surprise guests coming too. Very, yeah. very easy to guess. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be surprised too. Well, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> so all, you I'll, always I'll are. The boat. You always mm-hmm. are. <laughs> I, uh, you're having that issue. I negate that problem by like not having anybody come up to see me. Try as I might, I don't believe that. Try as I might, I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. No, I. Uh, uh, they just stay at my dad's because my dad's only in the city like a week out of the month. Oh shit! Oh, You've yeah. had friends come visit you, and they just stayed at your dad's. And then like and I they tr- did like fun things, and they I I like tried to get a hold of them, and they just were like, "Hey man, sorry, I was out." And then like then they just go back. Yeah, hosting sucks because I uh, I'm always like this. They're not having fun. They're not having fun. They're not I, having fun. Mm-hmm. Everything I pick is not going to be fun. I act like I'm a millionaire when uh, friends are in town and I'm not trying to flex on them, but I'm just like, uh, me too. They and flew I, out here to see me. That's expensive. I spend so much. Then again, I'm saving them thousands of dollars for a hotel by staying with me and right. I'm giving them my bed. I'm sleeping mm-hmm. on the couch, but let me buy this dinner. Let me buy tickets to this mm-hmm. Yankees game. I don't know why I do it. I think I'm afraid to lose them. Because yeah. this job has made uh-huh. me a pretty bad friend. And no, it's made me a horrible friend. Obviously. Um, and not, and I hate it. Um, yeah. I don't respond to texts. They're like, Dude, what's going I'm on? Bad with, I'm, un, I'm bad with texts. I treat texts plans, like emails. And now it's I, also I, and hard now I because, just, like, I think you guys use your social battery at work. Yeah, I guess right. so. And I used to clown, like, intro, like I, I think I just am introverted. And it, and I, it drains me to, to talk to people. You're a popular be introvert. around people. You're and a, I feel so, so much comfort when I'm alone. You're a popular introvert. I'm a gentle monster. Know, conversations just, they, I'm always anxious. Getting home post Irish exit is orgasmic. Right. Like Relief. being alone. Yeah. The, I yeah. like when you get back and you already get a text from somebody that was leaving. They're like, Hey man, I left. And you're just like, Oh fuck. Yeah. Like yeah. They did. And the relief from a bad thing feels better than a, just a good thing happening to you. 
that's why I kind like I think it would be kind of nice to have like a wife that you don't really like <laughs> and kids like the the Do, feeling you of get when divorced? you get the alone time. <laughs> to, yeah, I don't know. Pro- no, no, no. I wouldn't get into. I wouldn't. I, I would treat marriage like what it is, which is it's w- forever. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Which is it's easier in our position. But when you're in like a small town, oh yeah, like a traditional lifestyle, you you got to rush. How it. small is your town? Like our town, uh, all of our friends are just marrying girls that have not hooked up with the friend group. Yeah, I mean my town I grew up in is tiny, but it's surrounded by town, so right. it's, it's it's not like that in that sense. But remember sure. the UP at that high school, uh, the kid who. Uh, when we went for whatever. It oh was. yeah, we that first yeah, rediscovered so his America. high school was like eight guys, eight girls, and they all just like yeah. linked up in eighth grade right. and dated until yeah, they the married. Guys had yeah, the same girlfriend since Mackinac eighth- City. Yes, there was. They he said there was like eight kids total in their class. Yeah, four girls, four guys, and they just chose in kindergarten. And they live lifestyles where you stay there. You got to just um, like draw sticks in your for the best in your in pressure. The but they are significantly happier. They like yeah. go on fucking trips and they're they're they're, mm-hmm. they're chilling. But it's just like, yeah, yeah you choose. And we, and the one kid was like the, the valedictorian, whatever that's worth, and like the star athlete, whatever that's worth. Sure. In the Aki hat, he was dating like the, the, the pretty girl. Yeah. <laughs> For whatever <laughs> that's worth. Whatever that's worth. And like, what, what, what are the other kids doing? Yeah. Or like. Because like the looks might not scale down proportionally. And then if they run out of options, like an emo kid gets paired with a Mormon girl. Doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Even like in yeah, Alaska. It's like the, make it. It's just like the. The confident, the most confident guy is the one with the the only attractive girl, yeah, in town because he just tried. What a feeling that would be, yeah, to be the only guy in town with a decent wife. <laughs> Choosing yeah. to go play, I think my interests let me be the most attractive guy in my 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 hobby field. Some in some places, and that's like, where boy, you guys yeah. fucked up. You like EDM? Hell, fucking no! There's so, a bunch of dudes looking like so ziz hot. around. Yeah. They're so hot. Dude, even folk music, like you're competing with the bands. I got, it's, it's, I'm not Uh like the, the, the the, the biggest looker, but, but like in my subs, I chose wisely. Yeah. My interests are like music, music festival people, or like uh, hot EDM and bodybuilding now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. And I, you fucked yourself. Oh my God. And it's, it's all my, uh, like Instagram explore. Right. And you're just, constantly comparing yeah, yourself and it, and to it's that. It's happening to me. And I'm very, like, I'm very cognizant that it's happening. And it's like, I, in it, I think I'm stuck. Are you? Forever. Is that you? I'm gonna Is keep, this you I'm now? I'm going to keep trying to get bigger and stronger. We're getting to the point muscular. in our lives where the, our next hobby will be the one we dedicate probably the more than half of our life to. I know. I know. Choose wisely, dude. It's everything. Yeah. And then like, this field, like everyone around us is more popular. Yeah. Famous. Yeah. Like hanging out with celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> but, but I like what we're doing. Yeah, I'm happy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. It's you're due for you're due. I know, I know. You're very you're the most maybe cyclical guy I know. And yeah. You, yeah. you, you were really happy when you were sober. You're feeling great. And then boy, was that a low of the uh, low and that was end capped with the lip bump. And then you came back after winning the show. So when I find something that makes me happy or makes me feel good, I just abuse the hell out of it. Like non-human. Like, what? Non-human. Non-human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Great. Yeah. Good uh, you chose note. the word abuse. <laughs> I understand what you mean, though. You're yeah. you're Beat not breaks off. you're not somebody who does things in doses. You take well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I kind of like it because I, I know what it's going to be. I'm going to get really into lifting, lifting, doing all these proteins, these supplements, and then it's going to get old. And then by the time it's old, I'm going to the new the next thing starting from scratch is going to feel thrilling and like a high. But are you afraid? Because when people get really into lifting and stop, they get fat. No, I will never never get fat again. I will will (laughs) not even remotely. I will never. I will never. Look at his face in that picture. And I'll I'll never get portly or fluffy even. Yeah. Fluffy is fair. You, um, I think it was like 
maybe it was the mustache week, but you were on lowering the bar wearing a green flannel. I think it was around Christmas yeah. time. You were, you were swollen a little bit. Sw- legitimately swollen. And it took me like four months to even realize it's weird. I looked in the mirror. I was like, oh, it happens whoa. so slowly to you. Cause you see whoa. yourself all the time. And mm-hmm. when you look in a mirror, you do hot guy face. So you look good. Yeah. And I convinced myself I had, I have reverse body dysmorphia. There's no, oh, so like your body's rocking and no, like I'm not, I'm not fat. No way. <laughs> <laughs> More people would tell me if I was, I'm like, no, people don't just do that. Yeah. People aren't you. I would never do that. You could lose a lot of weight by using HelloFresh, boys. That uh, you can. What's, mm-hmm. What dish did you just make from HelloFresh the other day, Kyle? What did I get? The, the, turkey, mm-hmm. uh, the turkey burger wrap That's with right. barbecue sauce, sour cream, <laughs> and uh, I added avocado spread. Wow. Smash avocado spread. Smash. Smash. <laughs> um, this was actually from, oh no, this wasn't HelloFresh. This was, mu- oh, God, no, no, this is, this is good. This is good. This was from uh, Muscle Maker Grill. No, that's not good, Muscle man. Muscle Maker Grill. We're doing and I, and I pay, No, I, I listen, I paid $23 total oh, my for God. it to get delivered. It was average. And that's what people do when, they, when, yeah, when you're using those Hello apps. HelloFresh is 25% Hello less Fresh, expensive. Yeah, it's better food, better quality. And Best it, fall flavors. And it's cheaper. You're saving cheaper. money. Cheap, cheap. And it's, it's better than going to the grocery store, getting a bunch of shit, binging it, letting it go to waste. Because they'll just give you the meals. You'll eat it. On to the next. That's right. HelloFresh.com slash story16. Use code story16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes, three free gifts. HelloFresh.com slash story16. Dalvin Cook fell to me in the ninth. Mm. Um, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on now. Um, um, did you do anything fun for the draft? Like a race? Yeah. Derby? So, I, um, so I bought, I'm the commissioner of our league. It's our 10th year, actually. Um, and uh, I spent like $400 on like I'm trying a to really, do math really. for you. Are these high school friends? Who yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I'm doing, uh, I bought this really nice like league sanctioned marble racing kit with all the accessories tubes a chain lift uh everything it took me like three hours to set up there were four different paths it sucked it was just not fun to watch you couldn't follow your marble there was 12 guys in league so i ran up to cabela's and i just bought bait and we had we raced worms that's pretty good uh, it was way yeah. better Everybody yeah. had a squirt gun and we could squirt our worms. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. And it, uh, I had the slowest motherfucking worm. It's tough. Slowest worm. Been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. With what? I don't Can know. you just blow me first? I got a slow worm. <laughs> I got a slow worm. Um, all right. I feel like we're winding down a little bit. Um. Good episode. We have a live show coming up. We switched pod rooms. You can't tell, but we, we did. did switch pod rooms. So this is room three. We're getting jerked around. Um, live show, Laugh Boston. Please be sure to get those as soon as you can because we only have a couple hundred tickets left. <laughs> <laughs> and if you buy now, there's you'll probably still yeah. be able to get front row. There's uh, 314 left. We're going to get there that day, but if there, anybody's uh, boozing up somewhere, we'll go with you beforehand. Uh, it's not even going to be much of a podcast. We have the tomatoes. We have special guests. We have a KB musical number that I wrote that he. Jesus. We, mm-hmm. we have a full set being built. Mook will be opening up with comedy. It's going to be mm-hmm. a good night. Hell yeah. yeah. It's going to be a good night. And, and people, people have reached out to me. Uh, tickets. Yeah, we have that link. Is the link easy to find? Yeah. Okay. Because I got a. T- <laughs> some rant. People have my number. So some random guy texted me. Uh, oh, what was that weird yeah, text yeah, yeah. you got from a guy? Um, he just said, Hey KB, how do I get tickets to the live show, baby? And then I went back, scrolled up. And then prior to that, he was like, he just texted me in July. Come on, man. You know, you want a baby. My hemorrhoids feel like chewed up gushers right now. That's a line from you. Oh, <laughs> well, that's like, a KB yeah. line. Please help. Wait, before okay. you knew it was yours, what were you going to say about it? I was going <laughs> to say how was- Stupid that was. <laughs> um, that is, yeah, that was a meal. You're yeah. sitting on a big concrete ear of corn. Uh, that and the context made that funny. Yeah, if it, if I was on any other object, no, it had, had to be that. It had to be a it very had. oblong piece of corn. You had to be on the largest domestic corn. Yeah, you had to be on a big uh, corn. That's yeah. why that's corn why. henge. Context. Um, <laughs> yo. Also, we have the uh, the. Rediscovering America Buffalo out Friday, which I forgot, forgot we, we did. did it. I don't know. I was like pumped for like everyone 
Alaska, watch the video. Alaska's the we still have New Orleans Buff, before Buff, Alaska. No, but what? Jesus. Yeah, it's at the finale. Before Alaska? Alaska's coming out in December. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I thought Alaska was the next one coming out. Forgot no. about Buffalo. Watch that. And then we have New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. And then Alaska. But I don't remember one thing from the Buffalo other than I'm a blue raspberry guy. I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't tell you one thing we did there. Honest yeah. to God. Holy shit. We, it, yeah, we're just I was I disgusting and filthy and gross. you guys went. I yeah. yeah, there. Lockport. What did we do? We did, we, I don't, you probably don't even remember. We did like a cruise, like an elderly cruise. Oh, yeah. On the fucking Erie Canal. I was so fucking yeah. tired and did not give a fuck. Dude, yeah. I did not give a fuck about um, these locks. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. We were just chilling and we had to. You had good wings? Or? Oh, we went to Wing Nuts. Wing Nuts, good wings. I wonder how that was edited because there, there was some goofy shit said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. About, about blaming some people for COVID. Oh, there were some sentiments. Yeah. 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 There were some takes. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Wings were good though. <laughs> the best. Spicy. The best. Yeah. So watch that. I guess I, I don't think I yeah, will why? be, but I don't, I, I, I don't like having a video come out and not knowing. What does that mean? Like, I don't like knowing what's in the video. It's like the case race for you guys. Yeah, yeah. it really is. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, we're going to be going back and uh, some of our pre YouTube episodes that weren't entirely too bad. We're doing like just like slideshows to put out just on the YouTube. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so the excerpt of Summer of Chris will probably be coming out. It's probably already out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hell yeah. Lots of stuff. 308, a new untold story. Okay. Thank you guys. Kyle, hit him with a blue raspberry guy. I'm a blue raspberry guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same inflection that you do with your Sopranos impression. Oh, well, the whole world's gone. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, nah. Oh, also, uh, it's level. There's levels. I thought levels. I thought a ton was one thousand pounds. That makes so much more sense than it being two thousand pounds. Let me get that off my chest. Sorry, I, that was really embarrassing for me. What? No, you accidentally solved the metric system, dude. Yeah, I. Yeah, for my Lizzo joke, I said a thousand uh, pounds in that one yeah. time. It should be 2,000. It should be 2,000 being a ton makes no goddamn sense. Yeah. Because like a, a 1,000 is still a, a lot. Of yeah, I mean, you'd still say like, oh, she weighs a ton. Yeah. I just wasn't <laughs> being literal. Pushes up the 3D that. glasses mm -hmm. with no lenses. Yeah. Oh, that's a half ton. Yeah. My God. You All used right. to do that. You used to push it. You used to keep your real 3D glasses after movies. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Wear them. yeah. <laughs> I would do a lot of things. Yeah. As, as mm -hmm. is the nature of a being. <laughs> Um, <laughs> me too, dude. Yeah. Uh huh. You try? Yeah, I did too, man. Oh fuck! I'm not happy anymore. I just remembered Persian poet. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> At Persian poet, dude. They're, fuck, they're tagging up your neighborhood. New, my new least favorite person, and just ruined the streets that I walk on, the sidewalks with. They are everywhere. It's this. Just I think it's you. It's dumb. Bitch. I think it's a Fight Club situation you have going on. It's this girl who you're Tyler Durden. No, it's, here's see, what I've yeah. seen him too. It's just like it just says smile. It's not but, over. Then like the quote like from at Persian poet. You didn't say you that. You didn't say and that. That doesn't Persian mean anything. Poet. That doesn't mean what else do you have? Anything. You're just the handwriting. Smile. Today. It's not over. It's it looks. It's fucking uh, the girl who would aggressively do the notes. In class, like yeah. with like the perfect, yeah, with like the doodles, and she's dumb. Uh, oh yeah, I know, I know exactly. She's the still girl. dumb. Yeah, you just did the notes. <laughs> you did them in well crafted. Yeah, uh, feed your dreams, starve your doubts. Hyphen Persian poet. No, you didn't. Say, Don't you go back to your ex. It's a trap. You, <laughs> oh, uh, fuck fake moaning. If the dick is oh, that's a different. <laughs> That's, uh, I like that one. Was that one yeah. spray painted somewhere? Yeah, fuck fake moaning. If the dick is bad, pull him close and start booing in his ear. No, That's happening. Fake moan every time. Uh, yeah, uh, please. Love yourself first, Persian poet. Smile. It's not over. Have you Persian seen all poet. of these in the wild? They're everywhere, and they're they're fuck Persian poet. Persians need some more shit. Get, yeah. get, they need to get more shit. They're. No, I mean, I get it. I, I don't say it. Um, they're, they're full of themselves. Shout out Gene Mark Keith. He invented upside down pants. Did no, you see? No, I haven't kept up with Gene. He bought a pair of kids' pants, cut off the legs, and put the the see. waist at the bottom of his pants. And then he bought another pair of kids' pants and made them the sleeves of his shirt. So he was wearing upside down pants, tops and bottoms. He invented the upside down pant fit. Let me see. This. It is Holy fucking shit. sick. So shout out Gene Mark Keith. Up next. Oh yeah. yeah. Do you see the upside on pants? Yeah. I'm 
they, I don't they look awesome yeah and yeah, he has a youtube tutorial so subscribe to his youtube yeah he, he's who i have to get in here he's our white whale ASAP. um mm. well um <laughs> yeah yeah I, you understand what i'm saying Jeez. oh an orca more more so an orc uh, <laughs> no dude yeah. stop yeah. with that yeah what it's always a crossword answer orc yes and the clue is always lord of the rings baddie baddie <laughs> what does that mean they're the baddies what does baddie mean they're like, the baddies like a thought yeah, like no, a, like a it's, a, it's a Lord of the Rings baddie. Because if you said villain, you would probably say Saruman or Sauron. Okay. Or maybe like using one of the orcs' proper names, like Gothmog. Yeah, you would say Gothmog, KB. Uh, I'm going to go f- shoulder press 60 pound <laughs> dumbbells. <laughs> so you guys want to keep that conversation? <laughs> <laughs> Your exact your reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new untold story. Yeah, yeah. Hey, is that story old or told? Fuck no, baby! <laughs>